the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. I know you've been sitting at home for a quite long time now. And also, I know that you fight a lot together with your brothers and with your sisters. And I have heard that some say that we're playing together and then we end up fighting and then we'll break each other's toys, which is not good. But I'm so proud that some of you come and ask me what to do because I'm upset for my brother, I'm upset for my sister because we're playing together and we end up breaking each other's toys or we had a fight. So today, we take a very important thing. Today we will learn in a sermon how to deal with the problem. How to deal with the problem. First of all, I'm very happy because you come to someone older when you have a problem and you ask him. So I'm very proud of you because we have in the church something called guidance. Guidance that we need to ask when we're not sure how to deal with things. When we have a problem, when we have a question. So I'm so proud of you whoever gave me this question in terms of how to deal with the problem. Let me tell you a story and from there we find out how to deal with the problem. In the Old Testament, in the book of Samuel, the first Samuel, chapter 25, there was a man named Nabal. And Nabal means ignorant. And his wife, her name is Abigail. And Abigail means a source of joy. Nabal was a very rich man. He had a lot of fields, have sheep, have money, food, a lot of things. And at that time, David was looking after his field. David wasn't a king at that time. So David had 600 men with him. So what David used to do, he used to look after the field of, for the people and look after the sheep and make sure that no one do anything to them. And he take money in return. After a year of work, from David and his men with him. He, David comes the time of collecting the crops, comes the time of collecting the fruits, and the sheep had a lot of fare, so they shaved the sheep to make all these nice coats, all these nice blankets. So David goes, he said to the ten men, go to Nabal. I said to him, look, we looked after your field, we looked after your sheep, for one whole year and this is the time to give us the money or give us some of the fare for the sheep so we can make for ourselves blanket, we can make a pillow, we can cover ourselves. So the ten men, they went to Nabal and they said to him, David is telling you to give us some money or to give us some fare for the sheep because we worked for you for the whole year. But Nabal was a very bad man. He had a fight with them. He said, go away. I don't want to listen to you. You are a thief. You don't deserve anything. Who are you to talk? You have nothing. And I'm not giving you anything. And he sent the ten men away. The ten men went to David back and they said to him, Look, we went as you told us and we went to Nabal. And Nabal said to us, No, I'm not going to give you anything and you don't deserve it and you are thieves. David was very upset, very, very upset. He had 600 men. How many? 600. So he said, okay, I'm going to leave 200 here to look after everything and I will take 400 with me and we're going to go to take from Nabal our rights. We take our money. 
Nabal's wife, Abigail, she heard what David was planning to do. So Abigail's servant told her, David is very upset because it's his right. This is his money. He worked him and his men for the whole year. And now Nabal said, no, I'm not going to give you anything. And he's coming now, and he's going to do war, and he's going to win for sure. Abigail, as soon as she heard that, she's very smart and very wise. She made a huge, huge thing. What she done, she get donkeys, she got a few donkeys, and she loaded them with food, with drinks, with all these kind of things. And she said, this is David's hard work. So it's not good that we take someone's hard work. And she sent the donkeys with loads, all these things before her. And as soon as she went to David, she did very important thing. Let's find out what she's done. As soon as she get to David, she bowed down with humility. And she said to him, you fight for God's name. You're not going to fight for yourself. She said to him, you make war and you protect the word of God. You're not going to kill someone for yourself. She said, you fight at Goliath. With the little tiny rock, you're not gonna, you not are willing to do this for someone have told you a bad word. You're not willing to protect yourself from someone for a small word at you. So David looked at her and he said, God protect you. You are a very wise woman because you protect your husband, you protect yourself. And you protect me from doing a bad thing. So this woman have done five good things. Let's find out what she've done. First thing, she admit they did something wrong. A lot of time when we do something wrong, we don't want to say we did something wrong. And we keep blaming someone else. The first thing, we need to admit we did something wrong. Second thing, she said to him, Look at God. You are the son and the daughter of God. You can't do this. That's exactly the same with us. We are the children of God. We can't do something bad. God won't be happy if we do this because we are his children. Look at God. The third thing, she warned him. She warned him, how are you going to stand in the front of God if you did bad things like that? If you are willing to go and to kill someone or to do bad things to someone. So make sure you be careful. Warn yourselves, how are you going to do that? How are you going to stand in the front of God if we did bad thing, how are we gonna pray? How are we gonna stand in the front of God if we hit my brother, if I hit my sister, if I break the toy for my brother and sister? How are we gonna stand in the front of God? God will be upset. The fourth thing, she gave a present. She made all this nice food and drinks and clothes and she put them in the donkey. And she gave him to David. If we've done something, we should think not just to give a present, but at least to give something nice to my brother and sister. Giving a good word, being nice and being kind, it's a gift for my brother and sister. Number five, she returned David's right. Twice, whatever they took from David, 
she gave him twice as much as they took from him as work. A lot of time we say sorry, but we think that saying sorry, that's it. No. If we break something from my brother and sister's stories, we have to do this. We have to save from our pocket money and we have to buy for them another toy if we can. Or at least we say, listen, it's not fair I broke your toy. I will give you my toy. This is how we be fair. Fighting, they stop talking to each other. It never fixes the problem. So I want you all to fix the problem as what well. Abigail, the source of joy, have fixed the problem. I don't want you to be like Nabal, which is the ignorant, and to ignore everything and to act like you don't worry about anything, just worry about only yourself. Be a source of joy. Fix the problem and be like a leader, own responsibility. Glory be to God forever. Amen.